In this contribution, we highlight a tinkering activity proposed to the general public and to local primary school in Bologna during the first COVID-19 lockdown, when children were at home and experienced for the first time distance learning from the end of February to the end of the school year. Due to our constraint and value, we fixed those requirements. We want to have a constructionist experience. We want to engage children with some sort of collaborative learning, even if at distance. We need to use simple and common materials so every children can participate. We choose to engage classes to have a more democratic approach. Also family could send their contribution, but we curated classes in a different way. We proposed a classic tinkering activity called Chain Reaction, in which students have to build a domino-like path with all the materials they found at home. We prepared some videos with a few basic instructions for the teachers and families to make this activity at home, to film and to share the videos with others. We also set up an infrastructure to collect the videos and some resources for the teachers. We decided not to facilitate the activities directly, but to engage with teachers and co-design the activity with them. We felt that an important part of the project was still missing. Once kids created their own chain reaction, they could not share it with, with each other and enjoy a common product. We decided to edit a video for each class that participated in this experiment to achieve a long virtual chain reaction. We connected each single video with some simple animations and we also made a grand finale blowing an animated rocket as a last action. This experience of facilitating a tinkering activity during a pandemic was really challenging because we had to work fast, trying to design an online hands-on activity, taking care of equity and democracy in education. The major outcome of this activity is that we brought together in a virtual space an educating community committed to the creation of a learning experience when traditionally teachers, pupils, parents, researchers operate in different spaces and in times but there is still so much to explore and understand. We found that participation was active and meaningful especially when teachers coordinated the activities and stimulated discussions through brainstorming and creating mental maps.